Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Legends unboxing. This is also the last Bakugan unboxing of the year, man. So I'll do a special tradition at the end of this video. Not fully like gonna end it up you'll you'll see what i mean but yeah and i'll explain it more at the end but what we've got is this epic bakugan legends legends collection pack so it features Chaos cycloid pyrus archilion uh pyrus nova nilius and aquas hydrus ultra with the baku gear man i'm loving these packs man for real having like a nova bakugan an ultra a geogon and a bakugan like a core bakugan all with them literally going across the entire spectrum besides like platinum bakugan and fusions but still having a lot with them man and honestly with the ultras they have so much potential dude like bring in older molds like truncanius and webbum and such from like season one that we haven't seen like as awesome as these molds are like seeing season two onwards molds like seeing them like uh, rehatched and such like put out some of those original og season one molds because dude some of the designs for the first season are just so awesome love the designs for the other seasons but we have not seen season one molds like getting reused that much besides like cindius ultra which we saw like, in geogon rising a little bit the potential to go back and do that man like use some of the factions they didn't use like i still would love to see a pyrus weapon ultra and arlis weapon ultra man weapons one of my favorite like uh ball designs for sure i dig it for sure it was ironic because like spiders kind of creep me out a little bit but yeah man so anyways you got the artwork for all of them cycloid right there Achilleon right there nilius up there with the heads and then you got uh hydras right there it's like squad pulling up looks really really dope dude so yeah you gotta check out the back hey i'll cycloid pyrus Achilleon, pyrus nova nilius and aquas hydras ultra with the the Baku gear, so yeah, got all the cards. So like you know the Geogon card right there. I think Geogon card, Baku gear card they include as well. Three character cards for uh, the Bakugan in here. Two gate cards and six cores for all the Bakugan that are in here, man. But yeah, and also the Bakugan battle, battle league they show that code off right there. So it seems like they're not really promoting the fan hub or anything anymore. So yeah, you know. But if you want to see the, you know the battle league there's the qr code for it i'll show it off but yeah man anyways without further ado let's uh get into this and it hits in the heart man this is the last the back gun of the year and it's legend stuff for this next year it's just like previewing it and such um i'm not completely done with evolutions you know still like y'all you know like i'm gonna have profiles for a long time man and and patience y'all already know like there's gonna be a lot of profiles in 2023 i know i haven't put out that many with like this year especially the second half of this year just the dancing and everything takes so much time and plus so many like daily releases coming out like my, my time has been honestly limited you guys just being real and i've worked with what i could and just think i put out like what at least a good thousand i don't know if i hit two thousand but like a good thousand plus videos this year that's how much i cranked so you know plenty to go back and watch from this year um that's one of the things like there's so many videos i don't even know if i could do like a best of i know some people do like best of videos but you know yeah I'd sit and go through all those videos and edit them and everything i'd love to do it or, like it would be wild if somebody actually went through and like saw some of the videos from this year and like was there for all the crazy moments and picked like their favorite moments and just made a compilation of it that would be insane man I'd, I'd honestly love to see that but yeah all right let's see get those out of there all right got the cards out and i think i got all the cards yeah 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 we're good okay so now we gotta get everything out of here man all the plastic strips all right first of all cycloid is that the is that the only one yeah like look at that mold man you don't even need the plastic strips to like hold them in all right Killion. there we go and then uh -huh. Nilius, if i i think you're just in the mold yeah okay you're just in the mold all right and then like what are these the mecha claws i think for the bottom gear But yeah, literally, there's like exclusive Baku Gear cards with these two. Like, I mean, the first set had an exclusive Baku Gear card, and I'm like, bruh, what? <laughs> so if they're doing that, it's like, you, like, it's making me think. Is there another way for the TCG other than like the Secret of the Geogon and the GG sets? Like, did they have one planned for Evolutions and Legends? 
I don't know, man. And they just like ended up scrapping them in the long run. I mean, it's so like just Spin Master. Why not get the cards out there, man? You have so many people that will get them, including yours truly. You already know I'm gonna be especially deck building a lot next year. I'm trying to pick up some more cards. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and having a lot to work with too, man. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna love deck building. Uh, so yeah, got everything out of there. Now. We gotta get into all of the cards and cores. So, here we go. Uh, we got our Killian on this one. So, major boost for Pyrus. Pretty good for Chaos. Decent for Darkest. Little bit for uh, Aquas. And then Ventus, not getting too, too much. Arla's getting a little bit, and Ventus not getting anything. Getting squat. But, uh, yeah. And damn, dude, Nilly is putting in that work on Pinsitar right there. Uh, big time boost for Darkest. Um, you know, some for Pyrus, a little bit for Ventus and Chaos, and a bit for Arlis. But yeah, shield bonus for this one, and then this one having uh, the magic shield bonus, you know. So if you back down as a magic shield, it'll get the additional bonus if it lands on this gate card. And then same thing, if you back down as a shield, regular shield, it'll get the bonus on the gate card. But yeah, man. Now I gotta get into the cores. So, uh, plus 250, plus 3, Flame Fist, very, very nice. Uh, plus 100 Pyrus and Chaos plus 3 uh, regular Fist. That's sick. Plus 600 Magic Shield, uh, which is also really nice. I'm surprised we're not seeing, like, plus 650s. I've been putting on a, in a lot of 600s, but no, not really any 650s. But plus 300 regular Shield, nice. Another plus 300, another solid core. And then plus 150, plus 4. Yeah, all these cores that come with this are really, really solid. I'd say, like, the Magic Shield... Uh, could be like 650, 650 being the best one for it, but 600 still being a good second option. You know, if you don't have any 650s, 600. Another way to go. But uh, yeah, man. So now we got to get into all of the Bakugan. So I guess in this one, I'll start off with Cycloid, uh, the core Bakugan. So we got Chaos Cycloid up in here. B power is 600. Nice. So if I mean, if it has a shield, it can get up to 1,000. But having like a lime green for the eye, and then you got the forest green right there on the sides. We're using like more forest green kind of with this. So that's interesting. Like this definitely like this is an interesting color pattern for uh for legends, you know. But uh yeah, then we got the silver right there for the arms, a little bit of sky blue for that chaos symbol. Or you know, I guess the element symbol for chaos. Um and silver right there on the knuckles, a little bit more of that forest green, also on the bottom. Then, got the back part right there. Some silver back there. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a cream silver a little bit. It matches with the, the white a little bit. But, yeah, then some on the head as well. So, the way to close it up, bop, and then bop those in, and then... Doo -doo. Oh, okay. So, those go first, and then the arms go in. There you go, man. Hey, I'll cycloid in the closed form. Looking really, really dope, dude. Definitely digging the pearlescent white they chose for this. Wish they would have chose like a little bit more of like an actual shiny silver instead of like a cream with it. Would have made it pop a little more. You can't really see like like if you look at it first glance, like you see it a little bit, but it just doesn't pop that crazy amount. But it still looks pretty awesome, man. It's interesting they're using like forest green for chaos this time around. All right. Well, uh, next up, I guess we'll get into the ultra. That being a uh, Hydrus, so uh, yeah, Aqua's Hydrus Ultra. Shun would be proud, man. Looking really, really dope. Got the orange right there on the feet, um, back legs as well. Uh, you know, they're manual and they go out. Then you got a bunch of sky blue. Well, like kind of like a what's the best way of saying more like a cyan with it. You know, you got like a dark blue and then also like more of a cyan with this. But the inside parts, the season two armored alliance mold for it. Pretty cool seeing that back. I uh, got the main right there, sky blue right there on the main, and overall looking really, really dope, dude. Loving that dark blue. It just makes it pop big time. It looks awesome. The power is 600 with this as well, so if it has a shield, it can break a 1,000, but yeah, maybe I'll have a bonus effect with it. We'll just have to see, but yeah, man. Anyways, um, bop, put that back, that down, that in, I think, I think, I think. I think so. Maybe. May maybe. Okay. Well, let's just try to close that up. Did we get it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it right. Okay. So there's Aquas Hydra's Ultra in the closed form. Looking really, really sick. That cyan with that dark blue looks really awesome. And a little bit of sky blue as well. Switching up the color pattern for Aquas a little bit. Switching up the color pattern for all of them a bit. 
uh, with the season. It shows like what each season, like once you get the kind of color palette down for each season, you could tell what season the Bakugan are from, just from their design and such. But yeah, so we got the uh, Bakugan here. Oh uh, yeah, man, I don't know if it's the Mecha Claws, if that's what it's called, if it's called. But yeah, same uh, dark blue and cyan. And then you've got like the orange right there, like some orange paint. And the transparent plastic looking really, really dope. But yeah, so the way to close it up, uh, you put it in, I think you put it in like that, just like that. And then, um, no, that doesn't push in. Oh, okay. Yeah, those just kind of close like that. I think it opens more. Uh, yeah, so got that. And then we got the, you know, kind of the claws for it. Transparent blue plastic with it though, and then the dark blue right there with all that paint and then the cyan for the claws themselves looking really dope All right, so Next up we're gonna get into the geogon that being Archeleon Pyrus Archeleon man Looking really really dope. I'm guessing it's gonna have like a new Um, you know like character card with it probably I don't know if they're gonna use the same Archeleon from before like for the for the card but got the black for the face and then you got the red right there for the back part and then you got uh the black right there on the horns looking really really sick yellow right there at the top kind of like a transparent uh red orange with that man looks really really sick like blood orange um and got that same blood orange for like the wings the red paint right there on the wings a little bit of the flame for the tail and then the kind of crimson red a little bit more of like a crimson red with this like a brick red they chose for uh pirates this time around and it looks really really dope dude b power of 900 so i wonder if it's going to be like one cost for it you know but i guess we'll just have to wait and see we'll see with the card so yeah pirates action symbol right there and now to close it up bop 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 there you go so there is pirates archelion in the closed ball form man looking really really dope digging the look of it uh with this season of course having the cube shape with it but yeah, so now, last but not least, we got to get into, I'd say, the newest Bakugan in here. That being Pyrus Nova Nilius, man. We got uh, Nilius and Pyrus. Usually, stat-wise, they're not the craziest when it comes to Nilius, me being real, and Pyrus. Um, yeah, but it does look really, really dope having the arms go down. Reminds me of, like, how Hydrus' arms go down uh, with, like, Neo Hydrus. But... Yeah, got a little bit of orange right there for the wings. A um, little bit of like, uh, like that traffic cone orange right there for uh, the tail. B power of 800, so I mean if it has like, yeah, regardless it's going to break 1,000 no matter what. Uh, of course, that. So they actually did pretty good with this, man, like stat-wise anyways. You know, like B power-wise, it breaks 1,000. So that's already nice to see. Got the yellow right there on the neck, long neck. And then, like, uh, this being one solid piece, but then, of course, like, the two necks implied right there. And then the two heads, the orange right there on the top of the head, and then the bottom. And I'm surprised they went from three heads back to two, honestly. Like, you see, Nilly's had three heads for a bit. And now, going back to uh, the two heads, well, all right. I mean, it'll make full sense. Imagine if, like, Magnus needs to get in, like, a big-time battle where, like, Nilly's gets damaged or something. Like, not, like, you know, it's obviously, like, for a younger kind of younger audience and such but like not getting too graphic with it um but yeah um you know like just the story behind like why did it only have two heads after like it had three and then why did it go back to two what in the reverse alpha hydronoid back to dual hydronoid is going on hey but uh yeah it's gonna still have some major power with it and it looks so so dope but anyways heads in uh the wings in there we go well arms in and then the wings in and then the tail. But before we get the tail, uh, I gotta show out that light. Bonus points if this light's orange or yellow. That would be amazing. But odds are it's gonna probably be red, which I don't mind. But yeah, it's red. Looks really, really dope. It would be wild if they made it like actually like orange or something, so it'll pop a bit more. But it still looks dope. And then yeah, that's how it gets triggered. Is that point right there? Oh so, yeah, but that's still really, really cool. All right, so tail down and there it is man pyrus no vanillius in the closed ball form looking like an absolute beast man looking so dope ruby drago's gonna love this man you, you already know he's gonna love the paint uh you know well the color choices for this i know like pyrus nova drago he's like oh my god 
just the Pyrus colors this time around definitely looking like the ruby color, which is really, really dope, man. I'm digging the look of the Nova Bakugan. Like, I just love seeing the light up Bakugan. I love the Bakubo Bakugan from the original era. So, yeah, seeing this and seeing how they're implementing, like, uh, older gimmicks, you know, like how we saw the metal Bakugan, you know, like a bit, little bit with the Sky Raiders, like how the Bakugan jump, like how the Ultras jump and stuff. Uh, yeah, dude, overall just so, so sick. But, um, yeah, hopefully we see, like, some more gimmicks in the future. So, like, how they have the Baku... Oh, yeah, like the Baku Cyclones that like spun around and such. Um, you also had like, yeah, like the Baku Turbines, which actually like were ripcord activated and such. Like the Baku Zoom, Baku Turbine, like kind of those Baku gone. Um, and then like the Baku Tremors, which were like wind up toys. You wind them up and then you roll them out and then they like do a little quake when they open. So like Quake Drago, uh, Quake Exgoro, like Baku gone, like that, you know. Like those kind of gimmicks, like they have potential even. Like, have their own seasons with the base having, like, the Bakugan having their gimmicks like that. So, yeah, that'd be really, really cool. But anyways, now it is time to uh, get into it, man. I'm just sorting all the different cards. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, so. Yeah, man, this comes with a freaking Bakugir card. Wings of Aquas, and it has Hydras right on it. And look at L-E. R-A-L-E. That means rare. So this was considered a rare with Legends. So does that mean there's actually a TCG for Legends all the way up? If there's a TCG, or they had an original one planned for Legends, like, you got the cards in here, man. Like, you might as well just put a play set of three if they're, you're not going to put out, like, the packs or anything. But, like, for real. Secret to the Geogon and the GG sets, we'd love to see them. And whatever sets after, like, if there's a set planned for Evolutions, if there's a set planned for Legends, it would be amazing to, like, see those actually drop and come out, dude. For real. Like... The cards are the key to the extra longevity of this game. I'm glad that we've got Season 5. And even gimmick-wise, like the gimmicks I named before, you have potential for like Season 6, Season 7, etc. But, like, the cards will help push it that much further, man. But the crazy thing is, look at this, two cost. If you lay down a shield, you can add a core to this damn thing. Like, add a core to your freaking Bakugan. Which is wild. Plus 650 with that, like a 650 magic shield. That's some power, dude. Like, that's, that's insane. Like, they're incorporating this gimmick with the Baku gear. The Baku gear even getting stronger. So, yeah, you put the, you put these cards out, man. It's going to switch up the game in a major way. That mechanic alone is huge. But, yeah. And um, then Archeleon, one cost here. Yeah, rare legends. Um, 902. And if you land on a flame fish, you can remove an enemy core. So, that would put it up to, uh, what, 1150 and 5? But, yeah. Or if you just use um, a magic shield with it. You know, our Killian lands on a magic shield. It's getting up to 1550 and two. And one cost for it. So, yeah. Boy, you got power. You already know. And with the Geogon, like I said, the Geogon, as well as like, the Diamond Bakugan, you should just put in, like, a play set of three of these so we can actually use them. Because you got to have the Geogon in order to, like, put in a profile. And you can only use one Geogon per brawl. So you're not sitting there being able to abuse a bunch of Geogon with the game. Because, you know, technically you're only supposed to have one in your profile because you have to have the actual Geogon with your profile you know you have to include the geogon the baku gear and the nanogon you don't have to include with it like the figures and stuff you don't have to include but the geogon you do have to include and you can't just carry around a crap ton of geogon that's why you know why they made it that way but like the cards being really tough to get makes it tough to even use the geogon like there's only one card for this if there was multiple i would use this in a profile immediately man just saying there's only one card in here so for the diamonds spin master i just highly recommend like for the diamonds and also the geogon put in a play set of three with them it'll make it easy to where we can actually use them like so you're at least somewhat appealing to the tcg like pro players you know but yeah uh, but it's still, Archeleon, it looks really, really sick. Cycloid, Magic Shield, and a regular Fist, 603. So we can get up to 1250 and 3. But if it lands on a Fist, plus 400 and plus 4. So that's putting it at 1150. 1150 and 9. So that's breaking 1,000, having some serious damage with it as well. Um, yeah. Or 1110. So, Diverse Boy. And regular Fist setup, like with Chaos and everything. Yeah, man, yo, you already know. That's some serious power, for sure. But, yeah. All right, then we got uh, Ultra Hydrus up in here. So, you know, instead of Hydrus Ultra, Ultra Hydrus is how they're doing it. But 602, double shield. Um, So, it's getting up to 1,000, 1,002. But the kicker is, if you land on a shield, you can add a freaking Baku gear. Yeah, that's what that symbol means, the Baku gear. So, literally, you land on a shield. It's making it where Baku gear are... Pfft, 
my god. Some Bakugan are going to become, like, insane with this, man. With this effect, like, this is this effect alone makes Bakugan so much more usable. Especially with those that are high cost. Yeah, think about all the Bakugan we've gotten at this point. The Bakugan cards and such. With this effect, pff, yeah, the right setup. My god, you <laughs> run. Run, boy. Literally, you can skip over, like, the energy cost and stuff for it. You add a Bakugan. As long as the Bakugan card it doesn't matter if it's, like, one cost. It doesn't matter if it's ten cost. He gave it to Jen. What the fuck? Like, that's crazy. That's really wild. But Ultra Hydra's looking like an absolute beast right there. Looking so, so sick. But yeah, then we got Nova Nilius up in here. Are you gotta be kidding me? Well, I mean, it's still breaking a thousand. But this is definitely the one that has, like, the lowest power wise. 803 double flame fist. So 1050 and 6 it's getting up to. Breaking a thousand, so I will give it that. But uh, damage wise, getting up to, like, 6. Yeah, or if you just use, like, full damage with it, you can get up to 9 damage-wise. So, more for a damage deck approach, kind of going with how, like, Nilius was before with Pyrus. You've always done this with Nilius. But, um, yeah, dude. Uh, you put a Magic Shield with it, 1450, you'll get up to. 1450 and 3. So, yeah, and then CCLE, like, character card legend, you know. But, um, yeah, that artwork for it looking so badass, man. Looking really, really dope. Definitely digging the look of Nova Nilius. But yeah, so now it's time to get into the opening action for everything. I know a longer unboxing, but y'all know I get into the details of every single thing. Nothing left behind, giving my honest thoughts on all of it. And is everything in this pack usable? For sure, man. Uh, some of that, you just got to figure out like the right way of using it. Like, I mean, that mainly being the case of Nova Nilius, which still it breaks a 1,000, so it's definitely usable. But then you set it up with a magic shield, and they can get up to 1,450. So yeah. But anyways, uh, Cycloid. Bop! Can you pick up two cores? Boy, yo, Magnus, so strong, they're overlapping, and you're still picking them up. That's wild, dude. Yeah, you, you strong. Okay. All right, then, um, I guess we get into our Killian. Three, two, one. Bop, and what the hell? Yeah, backflip. <laughs> he fell backwards. How did you land backwards? Like, how'd you roll backwards like that? Well, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> But uh, looking like an absolute beast, man. Looking really, really sick is Archilion. Uh, can it pick up two cores? It probably can. Uh, if the, as long as it's not stuck. Yeah, if you're careful, they can pick up two cores. But yeah. So, I'll put that one back. Set that there. I'm gonna test out the other box we got and see like how their magnets are. But uh, yeah. Next up, I can get the tripod right there. We go. Uh, Hydrus Ultra or Ultra Hydrus. Yeah, here we go. Boom. And getting that open in action perfectly. Uh, if it lands on the tail and such, it's got a strong magnet being an ultra, so to pick up two cores. I don't know if it could pick up three. Yeah, probably no way it's going to be able to pick up, like, three cores. But it could at least pick up two. So, yeah, man. I just looking like a beast. Loving the dark blue and, like, the cyan with it. It looks really, really dope. Loving the evolution colors for... Or loving the legends colors for all of them, you know. So you used to still saying evolutions, but... Yeah, man. And then, uh, going to put the... Yeah, I got to put the gear on it do 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 all right here we go i think it's what this way bop yeah and then it drops down like that so you saw open those shoot down filling the gaps right there so you got a flying lion around here flying lion um yeah and it looks so so dope and then gotta get uh these claws right here so yeah the wings of aquas Putting those on there. And, yeah, dude, overall looking really, really sick. Uh, I like the design for Armored Alliance Hydra. So it looks really, really dope. So, yeah, like the Ar Armored Alliance mold for it. And, you know, just seeing it come back with Legends, like, you know, this mold. And then lastly, we've got Pyrus Nova Nilius up in here. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, and got it. And that light shining bright like a freaking ruby looking dope. But, yeah, I know we'll be dragons going to see that and be like, who? Did you summon me? Nah, I didn't. Well, I kind of summoned you earlier. I did. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Overall, just looking so, so dope. Loving the light with it. You know, like the light colors. It'll be wild if, like, they make it where... I'm guessing they're just going to stick with, like, uh, the red papyrus. Um, Chaos probably being white. Ventus having the green. Um, Arliss having the yellow. Or, like, the, yeah, the golden light. Um, Aqua's having the blue light, I'm assuming. Yeah, the blue light. 
um, haven't gotten any Nova Bakugan and Aqua, so I'm assuming it's going to be blue light. And Darkest being the one that's the most different because the light, obviously no black light, but like purple with it. So if I got to go like overall aesthetic wise and just the look, uh, I'd say maybe Darkest Nova Bakugan are my favorite. Like I love all the light of Bakugan, but just the Darkest having like that purple shining through all the black is so damn dope. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, and it's different from, like, all the others when it comes to, like, the aesthetic of the light with the Bakugan. But, yeah, man, overall, Nilius looking like an absolute beast, dude, looking so, so sick. But, yeah, guys, so anyways, that is gonna do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Legends collection pack featuring, uh, Heiau Cycloid, featuring Pyrus Archilion, Aquas Ultra Hydrus, and also Pyrus Nova Nilius, so... Yeah, a bunch that comes with this. And also the Baku gear. Um, the Wings of Aquas. But yeah. Anyways. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content. Because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell with my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. And now I'm going to do something special. Um, so... Well, today is the 30th, you know. When this is going out, you guys might see this like... I'm literally dropping it at like 11.59. So you're going to see it on, uh, you know, New Year's... Eve and happy new year's eve to everyone last day of 2022 fastly like approaching or being here at the time you're seeing this it'll be here um there's a tradition y'all already know at the end of the year i retire my gloves from that year and the color will switch on the channel you can guess what color will be in the comments the color of my gloves also matches the color that the you know the channel will be you'll have to go back in time and think about the colors i mean i'll tell you like 2017 was yellow 2018 was red 2019 was purple 2020 was green 2021 was uh blue this year's was orange so y'all gotta guess what next year's is gonna be it will be a color i'm not done yet just saying that now but you can put it in the comments uh you know and take a guess but uh yeah man anyways with this it's not the last time we're gonna see these gloves. Like I'm taking them out just metaphorically, cause like this is the last unboxing for Bakugan for this year. But yeah, so just to symbolize it being the last one, taking the gloves off and such. It's been a wild year. Look at all the work that's gone in, man. Like look how tattered the gloves are from everything, man. You you guys see like the condition of the gloves at the very beginning of the year. If not, go and check out like some of the first videos I put out this year and look at the condition now. It shows all the blood, sweat, tears, hard work, determination, all of it that went into it, man. Literally even spilt blood and like cut my hand so much, even just like doing so many battles and such. Yeah. Like all the work that's gone in, but it shows, man. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it. And until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, for the rest of the day, you'll see me have these gloves just for, like, the rest of this day. I, I will. But, like, with each of the last videos I'm doing for each thing, I'm, you know, putting out, uh, you know, like, doing this for the sentimental thing. Kind of passing the torch on to the next year. So, yeah, stay tuned for more Bakugan unboxing in 2023. A bunch of Bakugan stuff planned. And also, I got one more big-time Bakugan thing planned. Uh, for this year so you see it on the 31st you'll see it now today um and yeah that'll be the last Bakugan video for the year you already know man but it's been a wild year that's for damn sure but anyways till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching till then stay awesome and Bakugan brawl i'm up out of here